High speed, an essential engine for the modernization of transport, requires maximum precision, great technical capacity, and an ongoing need for innovation aiming at obtaining greater quality works within the shortest time possible. The Texai Railway Mounting System draws on these two parameters, carrying out high quality projects in a substantially shorter time. From 2006, Texa has been using highly innovative high-speed rail track mounting systems, which allow for a much higher performance compared to the use of any other system. These systems have been developed and patented by the company itself, Texa. Texa's system entails two completely different and innovative methods. The use of an unloading track gate directly on the railway sleepers with the help of rolling. Lateral unloading track directly on the railway sleepers with a rail mounted using the above system to mount the parallel rail. But let's see what the Texa system consists of and how it differs from traditional systems. In order to assemble a track, the following three steps common to the two systems need to be followed. One, topography. Setting out of centered secondary network landmarks. Rod and saddle point installation. Platform data collection to check and adjust the construction line. Two, distribution of railway sleepers along the platform sides on both rail tracks. Three, extension of bottom. Following the completion of these three steps, both systems start to be different. The traditional system uses an auxiliary track and requires a fourth step by constructing the auxiliary track with a second-hand use, such as wooden sleepers and a 45-kilogram track. This auxiliary track is mounted in 12-meter-long pairs and sleepers of 0.80 instead of 0.60 for them to be manageable. This operation is getting more and more expensive due to the lack of second-hand materials on the market. When using the traditional system, it is necessary to mount a 4,500-meter auxiliary track in order to allow the unloading of the track train, which transports 30 long welded bars, which are currently 270 meters long. When using this system, it forces the bottom to be mounted at a later stage. Whilst when using the Texa system, once the bottom has been started to be laid off, it is possible to start with the positioning of sleepers on both railway tracks. This operation has been achieving production results of 1,000 meters of mounting sleepers and 1,500 meters of bottom extension. With the traditional system, once the auxiliary track has been mounted, the track train is unloaded leaving the two tracks on the sides, necessary to finish the mounting on both sides of the auxiliary track. In order to start the mounting of the final track, it is necessary to start constructing and extending the auxiliary track so that the sleepers can be positioned behind and for the rail tracks to be mounted on them. The mounting efficiency of the final track using this system is subjected to the mounting efficiency of the auxiliary track, which is normally equivalent to the length of three long welded bars, 810 meters, in a single shift. Once the leading track has been mounted in sufficient length, two 9,000 meter track trains could start unloading in the parallel track leaving the tracks on the bottom so that the sleepers could be placed on them immediately afterwards. Achieving similar results to that of the leading track, three long welded bars, 810 meters long. With the Texa system using the unloading track gate directly on the railway sleepers and rolling, the only requirement to unload the track and start mounting is to have double the sleepers needed positioned in order to cover the length of the track our machine is able to unload on the leading track, which is currently eight long welded bars, 2,160 meters long. 
Having the sleepers positioned double of their length is done in order to allow the rolling to make progress and keep a distance between the mounting and the positioning. With the Texas system of lateral unloading of track on the sleepers using the parallel track, a progress of 12 long welded bars, 3,240 meters long, is achieved. As can be observed with the Texas system, apart from eliminating the mounting of an auxiliary track, the mounting of the leading track doubles the efficiency of the traditional system by 266%. while in the parallel track, it reaches 400%. In addition, another positive point is that it allows an earlier start, which makes the production deadlines of any type of mounting to be much shorter. Texa has already used its first system of the new railway track mounting system in the high-speed line Madrid-Zaragoza-Barcelona-French border in its Olerdola-San Juan de Spi section, as well as in Figueres-Perpignan. Railway access to the new north and northwest of Spain in the Olmedo-Medina del Campo section. In addition, it has used its second system, a new lateral unmounting system, in the high-speed railway line to Levante, Madrid-Castilla-La Mancha, Comunidad Valenciana, Murcia region, in the Gabaldon Albacete and Gabaldon Embalse de Contreras sections. The Texas system, due to the great benefits obtained with it, both for its shorter mounting time as well as the quality of the final product, will surely be the high-speed mounting system of the future.